One of the biggest mistakes that I see new and aspiring UI designers make is that they end up boxing things in in their designs. Everything is contained into a box and that creates for a boxy aesthetic. And so I'm gonna show you through three different examples how we could take this design that just kind of looks so boxy and how we can really open it up and modernize it. And so I've given this analogy before, you know, old school homes back in the 40s, 50s, they were all boxy. Everything had its own room, you know, your own kitchen, dining room, etc. But the modern approach is to open things up, an open floor plan. And that's what we want with our designs for the most part today in the modern web design era. So I'm gonna show you through three examples how you can open this up and start modernizing your designs much more. All right, if you haven't yet, of course, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. Now, chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably wanna be a better designer. And if that's the case, how much do you really want it? Because at designcourse.com, I've created a UI UX course that will help you go from designing layouts that I might rate a four or five up to eight and beyond. But more important than that, as a better designer, this means that you can land higher paying clients and jobs. This course includes over 16 hours of video, 40 interactive UI design tests, and even mentorship, where I personally take a look at your work that you submit, I review it, and many times I also revise it, providing you with great feedback to help you become a better designer. Now, for this video, I want you to use the coupon code UI2022, and that will give you 22% off at checkout. All right, so for our first example, it's actually a really simple challenge that's a part of the Design Course Mentor Program, and it's just to create a very simple, uh, basically like a, a hero section, uh, just with these three elements. And I've seen people uh, basically unnecessarily wrap things in a container or a box like this. Um, and so I think it's it's this is a great case for what this video is about. Um, so I'm gonna just replicate this and show you how to really just open it up more. So the first thing we'll do is take this background, just delete it up. Oh, well, never mind, it is in a frame. So we're just gonna get rid of the fill. All right. So of course now at this point we have to deal with the issues of contrast that's created from that. Um, and then we could take this type right here, uh, make that white, and at this point, we can probably center things. So we could take this, we will center it up here. We're gonna take this, we're gonna make sure these elements are all centered properly. And probably take this from medium to regular. And then we'll take this button right here. Let me get up closer here, there we go. We'll group that up. Oops, see if we can get this all centered up here. Wonder why it's doing that. I think it's, everything's wrapped in a darn frame. Let's unframe, ungroup that. There we go. So now we can take these things, group them up. All right. So now we have everything centered. Um, we could probably instead of making this black, make it the same color as this button right here, which is kind of like a darker blue. Um, probably extend this out a little bit further. Probably make this a little bit larger. And at this point, you could see that the design overall just feels like it's just, it, there's more room to breathe essentially, especially because it's like a nature, right? So you don't want to box things in, especially based on the context. Plus we have a lot more contrast because of the, the background uh, compared to what we have here. And it's just opened up so much better. All right, uh, let's come here to another example. I've seen people, this is another really great example of boxing this, you know, just taking a photograph, uh, uh, just a basic rectangle, not really doing anything unique with it. And then also unnecessarily wrapping this over here into like a card. So I'll do a real quick refactor as well. And we'll adjust this. So we're gonna take that fill and get rid of it. There we go, kind of move these a little bit closer. I don't like the unnecessary I, we have a stroke on there, which is kind of strange. And also I think we could stand to use, this is another thing. Um, basically this, this challenge starts off just with the um, navigation already designed, but they've chosen to use a different uh, purple, which doesn't really make sense to me. So we're gonna take the purple that's found up here. There we go, much better. Well, we could take this, we can leave the stroke on this one, uh, use that same color right on there this type let's see if we make it that same purple color that works as well all right so 
we could probably stand to increase this font size just a bit and also adjust some leading here. Probably make this type a little bit larger. All right, so we've opened up this area pretty well so far. However, this is still kind of just a box, you know, and I'm not a fan of just slapping on photographs like this because it does make it look boxy. So you have you have several different options here. Um, and still, this, this whole area could probably be a little bit larger, but I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Um, so if we take this um, over here, you know, you could push this off all the way over here, and then that way you don't see all four sides of it. This one's pushed off all, all the way to the right. So this is an option. Um, another thing we could do, which is even more kind of artistic, and I kind of like this approach, is we could just use a mask and make it so that maybe it's in a circle or something like this. So one of my favorite ways to do this is to take like a, a square or a rectangle of some sort. We bring this in. So the real big corner radiuses, we can hold shift and push it to the side. All right, and then let's make this even larger. And then we could do something like, let's see, uh, we'll take this, bring it to the front. We'll take our rectangle, those two elements, and then we'll create a uh, mask out of it. So now we could take this entire area, maybe scale it up and do something interesting like that. So just notice uh, just how much better, let's get rid of this one, if we do it before and after, and how less boxy it feels. So, so much better. Let's do another example down here. All right, so this is uh, another one that was submitted uh, from a different challenge. And again, just a real simple hero section sort of challenge. Um, unnecessarily wrapping that inside of this container here. Don't need that. So we could just take this. Uh, I see they also have like a little weird drop shadow there. Um, so I could I, I could appreciate them using this blue because the, there's some blues found in this uh, the the, uh, the blueberries. But I think you need to go a little bit darker than that. So you could still have a hint of that, but I think it makes sense to go darker. All right. So then um, we have this element right here where we have. Um, let's see. What is this? Is a component? Let's go ahead and detach that instance. It's, let us right click and ungroup it. We'll gain access then. Let's see here. I'm not sure what is happening. Maybe you ungroup these. There we go. There we go. So now we could take our stroke. We don't need that stroke. It's unnecessary. Um, and now we have a contrast issue, of course. So we take this. Maybe we can use the same color here. And then we'll take th these elements and make them both white like that. All right, so we could take these three now, group them up. Maybe this font color can be the same. All right, let's move things over. All right, right there. And very simple, obviously, total detox. And just look at how this is opened up when we got rid of the containers. Now, the last example, I'm not going to actually do the refactor. It's actually a part of my um, one of my recent videos uh, where it was a rapid redesign. And that was down here. Let me change the background color. So this was the before. This is what was submitted. Uh, this is a, a part of somebody's portfolio on the website on a website. And we can see how just everything's encased in this box unnecessarily so. And so my refactor over here simply opens things up so much more. We use a, a, a more interesting sort of photograph. We kind of really embedded it, made it large. Um, and then we have all this white space over here from which we can place our type and things aren't so boxed in now. All right, everybody, so hopefully you can go ahead now, if you're a new aspiring UI designer, you can now take this one more tip that I've uh, shared with you to create more modern and professional looking designs. May, let me know what you think in the comments here. Also, of course, as always, check out designcourse.com, subscribe, leave a comment and like, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Yay!